<laughs> Welcome back, Didn't Kill Rita fans. Uh, so, how's this different than any other carnival I've ever been to? <laughs> I mean, there's no people in it. A shooting gallery. It's still early in the day. According to my ticket, all the attractions here are free. Yeah, once you paid for the ticket, you can just do whatever. It's like Disney World. Yes, this is exactly like Disney World. I wouldn't buy a used car from this guy. <laughs> You're so judgmental, Mike. I love it. Well, he's in a dark place right now. Excuse Look, buddy, me. I need some answers. Look, buddy, I need some answers. <laughs> Look, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that came out of I nowhere. Pick up a gun and shoot. You want me to lose my job? Just don't shoot me. Could you missed? <laughs> I missed. Just like in life, right? So that's about it on that right now. There's, we have to win these eventually. I want to take a shot. How much does it cost? You know it's free. You just told us. Put your money away. All the attractions here are free. You just really suck at them. Then how do I win a prize? <laughs> I think this game is rigged. I think this game is rigged. How can it be rigged when it's free? Are you nuts. Get out of here! Well, we might be nuts. That's one of the questions of things here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A wheel of fortune game. You guess a number, and if it turns up on the wheel, you win a prize. I feel like this FMV character with the background works better than Phantasmagoria, and it that was a pretty good one. Yeah, it does. Not too much to look at over here. <laughs> I've heard that games of chance can be rigged, but carnivals like this are usually on the up and up. No, they're not. Well, I've you're done... not paying anything extra for the I'll game. This guy so has what does mom it matter? Tattoo across his chest. The, the train agrees. Can each of these toys turn into dark world creatures? <laughs> yes, actually, they can. I have an admission ticket. That's why I'm here. Got an admission ticket? That entitles you to a spin at the wheel. <clears throat> How much does it cost? Like, ah, we know it doesn't thing. cost anything, Mike. Oh, you Keep that your quarter. I thought you went to Everyone with an <laughs> Keep your quarter. Spin One at quarter. The wheel. Even Camden Park was far more than a quarter at that time period. At least a dollar. <laughs> How does this game work? All you have to do is call out a number between 0 and 9, then give the wheel a spin. If your number comes up, you win a prize. What could be simpler? Even though there are far more than 9 things on that wheel. I, I want to play number. spin the wheel. Negative 5. Number sacrilegious. Pick a number between 0 and 9. <laughs> I was doing so good. You I'm were. I had a streak. You had three, three streak. And I am Okay, give the wheel a spin. Wheel of morality. Actually, turn, there, turn, was, turn. there was one point that I was going to do it the last episode. I was like, well, I thought we had already done it. Zero. We had, no, because we'd only done, are. like, the first we, two. Yeah. Number zero, zero. <laughs> okay. We lost because we're a zero. I'm going to go this way. <laughs> zero to hero. Looks like oh, here's the game. best. I used to play horseshoes with my dad. I usually beat him, but I think he liked to let me win. It looks like a giant. It does. Fame. It's throbbing <laughs> and, and pulsating. It's hard to tell from here, but I think that pole is made of metal. It's a big dick. Ooh, that looks interesting. <laughs> this guy looks like he hasn't bathed in a week. You are judgmental. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Hey, buddy. <laughs> step right up. Step right up. You look like you have a good arm, sir. Debatable. Debatable. Uh, what do I do? Okay, what do I do? Hey, just toss a ring around that metal pole over there. It's so simple a child could do it. At least you didn't ask me to sit on it. <laughs> hey. Now well, let's just go and get through all game? these things we have to do so we, we can play. Uh, I don't want your money. The game's free. It'll be better later on in the game when we actually can win them, which we can't do right now. Okay, what do I do? 
just just wait for his little eh. hey, just toss a ring around that metal pole over there it's so simple a child could do it I'm not any child <laughs> okay let's throw something I like to play this game yeah, be careful the ring's heavy <laughs> here we go eh. Oh. You missed, pal. <laughs> he really nerfed that. Wait, <laughs> wait. I'd like to play this. Yeah, like to play this game. Bink. <laughs> <laughs> you missed, pal. I'd like to play. Bink. You should record pal. that sound. And make that yourself. Phone. Just wait, the clonk. Yeah, but every time you get a text message, it's clonk. Clonk. <laughs> Oh, I saw stars from that. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, it's an elephant. We didn't even have to do that yet. But I, I thought I... <laughs> Mike. Eh. <laughs> Donk. So do we get the medicine or not? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. We're not going to get anything right now. But if anything, i got to remember where... Said there was like four entrances to stuff. I need to go. No, cannot remember exactly. There's stuff like to the right and left of the carousel, up, like. Well, I thought that because that was where the back was, and that's there. And that leads out. And it doesn't give you... This is where a map would be more handy. Yeah, like, you know, going from place to place. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this way and see if there's a way around. Practice our ring toss. <laughs> Clonk. <laughs> like, maybe that gets us? Because this whole area's got a. That looked oh, There yeah. we go. Show okay. Hall of Mirrors attraction. Great. I've experienced enough freaks and distortions to last a lifetime. Yeah, there's the sideshow. Look at that. <laughs> the ke giant ketchup. The grossest ketchup I've ever seen in my life was at Cedar Point during a hot summer day. Mm. There was literally like maggots That's swimming around says, in it. It was like the grossest thing ever. That yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. We do eventually have to go to this Hall of Mirrors. We're not going to do it right now because it is a maze and I don't want to do that right now. I would rather rip off my own thing and feed it to the There's animals. a maze in every game. <laughs> padding. I mean, it yeah. really is. It's padding. <laughs> We got Minnie and Daisy. Are these the fortune tellers or are they the conjoined twins? They're the conjoined twins. That's funny. Everyone that these postcards are addressed to is dead. How do you know that? Like, literally, how do you know that, Mike? Here's the stack of unsigned postcards. <clears throat> they look like they were just bought from the store. So not a lot of other things to look at. We can look at them. I've heard about Siamese twins before, but I've never actually seen a pair until now. Despite their affliction, these two women are quite lovely. But they wouldn't go out with me either. Did you kill Rita? We were jealous. <laughs> Can you talk to the audience? Excuse me. Can you, uh, talk to the audience? Me? Hello, sir. I hope that you are enjoying the carnival. Weird. Hey, this guy looks delicious, <clears throat> doesn't he? Mean it? <laughs> um, eat him. Game over. Hope you saved. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Minnie. This is my sister Daisy. We're Siamese twins. Really? We're very, very close. <laughs> <laughs> dun 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 dun. 
what do you do at the carnival? Oh, I need to get the clown's medicine, but it's trapped under an anvil. Can you help? <laughs> like, that is dialogue in this game. Trapped under an anvil. Can you help? Oh, dear. You might try asking Gargan the strong man next door. He can probably lift it for you. Why, that muscle-bound crybaby is probably too busy feeling sorry for himself. Don't even bother. <laughs> They're like opposite yin and yang. Yes, they very much are. What do you? Well, let's find out what they're what writing. Writing. I'm addressing these postcards. We're sending them to famous people from all over the world. I'm writing the text of the postcards. You write to everyone: Jack the Ripper, Lizzie Borden, Genghis Khan. And I'm addressing this one to Charles Dickens. What's your name? Maybe we can send one to you. Goo. I am a famous writer. Mm-hmm. Do they ever write back? The one you are writing to is dead. Do they ever uh, write back? Yes, voices come into our heads. I always hear from women. And I always hear from men. Too bad none of them sound as young and virile as you, <laughs> I feel objectified. <laughs> Send these postcards to the dead letter office. Dead letter office. Oh, that's very funny, sir. No, we send them to the local morgue. I'm sure they know where to forward them. <laughs> well, okay. Come on, huh? What's your name? Mike Dawson. Philip Marlowe. <laughs> My name is Mike Dawson. Mike Dawson? Oh no! That was the name I was supposed to mail the key to. I think I made a big mistake. The key? Watch your mouth, sis! The voices won't like it. Hmm? No! I'm sick of you and your twisted ways, Daisy. You built the Hall of Mirrors as a favor for those voices you heard. Now I'm doing a favor for the voice I heard. Look, pretty boy, I'm not letting my sister say anything more. Go on, get out of here before we all get in big trouble. Uh, this ain't right. <coughs> okay, bye. Watch out! <laughs> what a magnificent stage. This act must be something really special. Yeah, the... It's called going to the gym. <laughs> Look at the muscles on that guy. I didn't know anyone did strongman acts anymore. Well, I mean, they do. They still do. <laughs> 30 years later. There's a big smiley face in the background. Excuse me, Gargon. Gargon's a pretty big guy. He is, he's gargantuan. I'm in the middle of my act. What do you want? Do you work here? What kind of no. act do you do? <laughs> do you have a ticket? I lift and pull barbells and perform other amazing feats of strength. Enjoy my act while you can. I'll probably lose my job soon. No Why? Why would you lose your job? Can you uh, lift an anvil for me? <laughs> we'll Why get to would that. you lose your job? I can't draw a crowd. They all go to see the Siamese twins or the fortune teller. There's just no interest in my talents. Not when you can rent Arnold or Sly at the video store for a buck. Oh, there's no reason to be so depressed. I'm, I'm depressed for all of us. <laughs> there's no reason to be so depressed. Yay. Life's not so bad. Oh, yeah? Obviously, you didn't hear about the missing box office money. People are just plain no good. Now stop interrupting me. That's a red herring, that uh, box office money. Like, it makes you think that's something else you're going to have to do. Excuse me, Gargon. Well, it's interesting. That was like the first positive thing we said the whole game. <laughs> right, yeah, we're in like the fourth episode. It, it Mike finally said oh, something like positive. I need some help. Could you lift an anvil off an ice chest for me? Sorry, but I'm not in the mood to help anyone. I take some lousy pills my doctor gave me, but they don't do much good. 
I'm washed up and I know it. You could just walk over there and then take it off, though. All of this. Wait. Listen to how he says this. Mr. Gargon, won't you please lift that anvil so that I can get the clown's medicine? <laughs> won't you please? I already told you. No. I'm through doing favors please? for people. No one ever does Sunday? anything for me. Mr. Now stop interrupting Greg my Gargon. act. Gargon. 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 Please. Okay, Mr. well, Mr. <laughs> that was uh, that that happened and it it occurred. A fortune teller. Oh, These people that's are not nothing but rip off. <laughs> right. That's probably how this Pandora's most box. Of its profits. Oh, there's a satanic like. Well, symbol. it's it's the it's the the bad guy. So the only thing we can look at in this whole room is her herself. <clears throat> That's the biggest damn snake I've ever seen. Why do uh, there have to be snakes? Well, yeah, because look, it's all like cool. everywhere. Yeah. Are you a fortune teller? <laughs> that sure is a big snake. That Mine's not sure very is big. A big oh. snake. Is he friendly? Ooh, watch out! Watch out! Ooh. Okay. It's a poison! Lucifer is very friendly to me. Oh, Lucifer. She is my familiar. She gives me my powers. Isn't that right, Lucy Goosey? Chewie, are you my familiar? You give me the power to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> are you, what does your snake eat? What does your snake <gasps> eat? Game over. Didn't say. Roberta Whatever says, she can fit into her mouth. Go play my game. By the way, I wouldn't stand too close. Ooh, sexual. What I love that someone clearly made that sound effect for that snake. Yeah, that's all they did. Powers that allow me to see into the distant past and the far future. Powers that let me help people guide their destinies. In layman's terms, I tell fortunes. <laughs> I, I do like that. Is she related to that person from What's Callahan's yeah, cafe or whatever? Yeah, Callahan's saloon. Yeah, saloon. Can you tell me who killed Rita since you were a fortune What's teller? That would fortune? be nice to know. I get my strongest readings from personal items. Perhaps you have something in your possession I may examine. <clears throat> like the ticket stub? Or the smiley face? <laughs> <laughs> What role does this play in my future, Pandora? I see a hat rack with one of its four pegs occupied. Okay. So, aka, okay, that has nothing to do with things. Do we give her something else? That we don't have anything yet. We just, you have to, certain things you have to do. These are one of these games where it's like you have to do something so other things open up. Like in certain order, yeah. Yeah, because one of the big things, um, when Retro Prey made their com comedy out of it, a lot of what made it comedic was the guy doing it, like, inept. Like, he made, like, Mike look worse. And, like, uh -huh. it was, like, it's what made it so funny is they literally, <laughs> and it wasn't on purpose, so let, Let's Player just. Didn't know what. Yeah, yeah. And, there, <clears throat> and there's stuff that is very hard in this. Okay, we are done here for now. So, note to self shrimp baby area is separate from little ghost baby area. <laughs> hey, clown, we weren't able to get your medicine. Oh, uh, how you feeling? How you feeling? <laughs> Where's my freaking medicine? Are you a moron or something? I'm feeling lousy, that's how I'm feeling! I think the clown but might be my soul. Just <laughs> maybe... Just, just you. If you get me my medicine, I might start feeling good. Is that simple enough for you to understand? No, me Mike Dawson. How about I just man the ticket booth while you go get your medicine? I'm having trouble getting to your medicine. Yeah, right! Yeah, trouble yeah getting we can to your do medicine. it. It's sealed up in the ice chest. <clears throat> and it is sealed. Some hero you turned out to be. Look. Look, pal. If I don't get that medicine, I'm gonna die. D-I-E. D-Y-I? I don't care how you do it, but open up that ice chest and bring me my prescription. Well, I can't. Why don't you just go get it? I'll watch the booth. 
Well, have a good day. Don't die. We killed a clown. Okay, so we can go back here now. Oh my, they're still here. Yeah, anything new? Nope. Unfortunately, once you click on, you've got to talk. Lister, I've got to talk to you. Even though we really don't have anything to talk about. Get lost, Dawson. Dawson's Creek. Look, I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'll leave you alone. Nothing would make me happier. <laughs> Although... I don't think Jimmy's got new stuff yet. Listen up, Gardner. I've got some questions Just to ask Just turns around Dex, Mike. Game over. <laughs> <laughs> Will you get off my back, Dawson? You give him piggyback rides? <laughs> Yeah, if it's not open yet. Yeah, we will get go. more stuff for him later. Oh, yeah, back alley. get out before I yes. throw you out. Get out before I throw you out. <laughs> My name's when Jimmy. You're a shark, you're a shark. <laughs> when you're a jet, you're a jet all the way. Except when you're him because he's kind of a turd. It's hard to believe that someone could live in this dilapidated old shed. He has a lava lamp. I've seen some of those symbols before. This is the most bizarre collection of junk I've ever seen. Some kind of stew is cooking on the stove. I'm not sure what's in it, but it smells good. Some kind of stew is cooking. Okay. Ooh. This is the most bizarre. Lots of the junk. Okay. Slim is a goofy looking character, but he does have a good heart. That's so rare to find in people nowadays. He has his old Boy Scout uniform on. He's still talking nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Slim. Do you have any more theories about who murdered Rita? I was just down at the farm behind Mayor Fleming's house. There are some strange rings burnt into the cornfield like a flying saucer landed there. I'm thinking that it was spacemen who wanted Rita dead. Could be. Well, <clears throat> tell you what, Slim. Why don't you follow up on your theories, and I'll pursue my own. Good idea, Mr. Dawson. We'll compare notes later. See you in the funny papers. No, I still have things I want to talk about. I hate to admit it, Slim, but I need some leads in the Rita Scanlon murder. I've been looking into a political connection, so I went over to the library where Rita worked, and sure enough, there are pictures of JFK all over the place. Well. I'm wondering if Rita knew something about the assassination and somebody wanted to shut her up for good. Probably. It is the 90s. That was still a big discussion. Well, that's a very interesting theory, Slim. I'll have to give it some thought. Do we need to go talk you to our friend do Jack, that, Mr. Dawson? Yes. And I'll let you know if I turn up anything. Because he gives us more info that we can go work with at this point. I should sure, take you someone else's supper. Thing on the keyboard. No, Besides, she didn't. I don't have much of an appetite these days. Still having his talk about his lack of appetite. I mean, it's a pretty real thing here with Mike, you know? I yeah. mean, you're not playing... Like, I think maybe it's because people are like, we're not playing as, like, a cool character. Like, you're, it's more of a real yeah, this, person going through fantastical things. This guy, like, saved the world, and yeah. all he got for it was mental destruction. And now he's trying to, you know, keep himself together. Because who would really believe any of that unless you nobody. had evidence? Yeah, yeah nobody. Here comes Jack. So we talked to the Jets. Now we're talking to the Sharks. <clears throat> hey, my good boy. The Fawns. Hey. All right. Thanks for meeting me, Jack. 
So what's your plan? We gotta deflect Sheriff Butler's suspicions. You're innocent, right? We've gotta prove it. I don't remember. Yeah, it's but like I don't, I don't remember anything that happened after Rita and I had our fight. You had a fight with Rita? Is that what Dr. Sims helped you remember? I told you not to trust him. Now we gotta prove someone else killed her. Rita did say that she was going to meet a friend after the reunion, but who? Yeah, that's literally what so she went off to do Elber about her book the club. Yeah. He did mention some other possible suspects. I, for one, agree with him on the selection. Who are the other ones? Who are the other suspects? At first, I didn't believe it. Then I thought about it, and it makes sense. I'm telling you. Two folks who ain't what they seem. How about Mayor Fleming and Doc Larson? Hmm. The medical examiner? Yeah, Larson? Kind of the medical think examiner? There's fishy with that. Yeah. Have you ever noticed how many female visitors they have at the morgue? Rumor has it that he has his fingers where they shouldn't be. He used to have Rita personally deliver medical textbooks from the library, you know. Hmm. And then Mayor Fleming. Mayor Fleming? That's right. Mayor Irving Fleming. I once saw Rita sitting in his car in front of the courthouse, and they were looking pretty cozy. The election's coming up, and I'm sure he's busy sweeping all the skeletons out of his closet. Again, we still don't know who he's running against. You're forgetting right. something, Jack. I'm not a detective. So? Neither is Sheriff Butler. <laughs> Listen, you need to collect some new evidence. I can't do it because, hey, look at me. I stick out like a sore thumb. But you do blend in and can probably do some digging. Except he's the most wanted, like, you know, possible criminal in, you know, the entire town. You know, if we'd have dated anyone else? Look suspicious. Besides you? Well, she did used to see Sheriff Butler, but that ended a <gasps> She's long time been ago. With everybody. Anyway, you have two good leads to get you started. As for me, I'm out of here. I gotta go get this big broom out of my butt. The sheriff used to date Rita? I didn't know that. Now I really don't trust him. I think you're barking I up the, the wrong tree with too. that one. But what the hell? Maybe it'll take some of the heat off you if you harass the Everybody, sheriff. Anyway, the I gotta twins. go. Oh my. <clears throat> Wait, Jack. I can't do this by myself. You're capable of more things than you think, Mike boy. And I'm not abandoning you. I'll be cruising the neighborhood. If you turn up anything, come back here and flag me down. I just keep driving around by your house. He drives around and, and the other guy just waters his lawn all the time. It's a sleepy little town. Probably Texas. Well, on that note... Did our mom finish the... Cooking? No, there's, she's just still in there cooking her steam. Everyone does the same thing. Yeah, they do. But there's reasons behind a lot of it. Alright, so we will uh, come back and we'll, we gotta go to the sheriff's office and go to the coroner and try to find that key that they were talking about so that we can get to the dark world. So this has been Chris. And Adam. Stay tuned for part five of Dark Seed 2, Mike's mental journey of whatever that is. <laughs> we'll see you then. Bye. Oh, Jack, you're the only thing keeping Mike alive. Oh, no. <laughs> that makes me feel like something's going to happen. Oh, yes. Something. <laughs>